And that is a treble clef, I think. Yep. It's worth 20 notes. And it... I think that's all the notes for this level, actually. So, And over here... You can actually climb up to here with this little part, see, with your grip grab, but I'm not going to bother with that. Alright, see, look at that, we need 30 notes, and I have 100. I don't think I've ever had a problem with not having enough notes to learn a move. Alright, use Kazooie as a gun. This move seems really awesome, but you actually don't get to use it very much, and you can only use it in certain areas, unfortunately. So what does that move do? We'll find out in just a second. This should be all the moves for this area. And I think we can now make our way to the actual Mayahem Temple. Yeah, despite everything we've explored, we actually haven't even explored the name of the level yet. And that is the temple itself. But if we scale the top here... There we go, a very easy, easy top-of-the-world kind of jiggy. The, game, the levels are full of those. You always have to have the top of the area jiggy. Alright, so let's go inside. Uh, I think after I complete this little area, I think that'll be it for this world. For everything we can do. Alright, look at that. This is the new move we just learned. We actually go into first person mode. And we can use Kazooie as a gun. Well, Rare did develop GoldenEye and Perfect Dark, which are like two of the most awesome first person shooters ever created, so. Makes sense that they would add this. You know, if you take something you're good at, you might as well stick with it. Alright, so we got this little area to explore. It's gonna remind me of Wolfenstein or something. Alright, so we got these little um, go go glow in the dark statues to collect. And I don't know how many total there are, but we need to get a total of uh, 20 to get everything we need here. This little area, I don't know how many of you ever played the uh, Toy Story game for the Genesis and the Super Nintendo. I played the Genesis game quite a bit when I was a kid. And there was a level where you like went through this maze type of area to collect all the aliens for the claw machine. And this, this kind of reminds me of that, if, you, if any of you are familiar with that. You like go th you go through that level just like this, and you collect a collectible just like this. But, I don't know, maybe like five people played that game. It's really not that great of a game, but it's one of those games you, li you really love as a kid. And you keep loving it for nostalgia, although I kind of don't anymore. I wasn't very good at that game. And it had this really creepy level called Buzz's Night or Woody's Nightmare, like where Buzz pretty much tries to kill you. <laughs> and that was interesting. Anyway, so we got some bad guys that we can kill with Kazooie. And... Ah, these things. These will give you, boom, unlimited eggs for the amount of seconds it has. And I have the volume turned down, so I don't know where. It if you can hear it or not, but there's actually a Jinjo in here. Yeah, I hear it. I just heard it. I heard the help! Uh, I'll be on the lookout for it. But yeah, if we get 10, we have access to that area I just opened. Or that just opened. We'll go to it a little later, but I'll keep on trying to collect the little statues. Uh, let's see. We got these little meow guys. And they're fun to shoot. Anyway. I always get lost here. One of the worst things about this area is when you have to finally leave it. Because I always end up not being able to remember where the entrance was for the life of me. Alright, hopefully I can find the Jinjo somewhere. Another head. Another one. I don't even know how many total there are. You only need 20, but... They probably give you way more than you need. Okay. Another thing to randomly talk about is nuts and bolts. I've had a couple people ask about that. They asked me if 
I've played Nuts and Bolts and what I think of it, and if I would like to do a Let's Play of that eventually. At this point, I'm thinking probably not. Um, as I talked about earlier, at least in this recording session, I don't have a 360. And I have played Nuts and Bolts. I played a uh, demo of it at a friend's house back when it came out, but... Um, like many of the nostalgic folks, it didn't really do much for me. I I didn't play it and think, oh god, this sucks, but I just, I couldn't really get into it. It never, at least in the demo, it never really felt like a Banjo-Kazooie game to me, and I never had enough interest in it to really play it very much. I, didn't, I, ne I never played it after the demo, so I can't see myself ever let's playing that game. I don't think I'll ever like it enough to play it, to let's play it. I mean, I'm willing to give that game a fair shot again when I get the 360, but, um, I don't know. There's just something about it. Plus, I hate the character designs, but I've whined about that enough, so I won't do that again. I'll save my breath. Anyway, I just need one more. I never struggle to find these things, so... Okay, there's one. Alright, so... I think I've been in here, too. That sucks. Alright, so we have access to both of the areas at the end here. Now the problem is finding it. No, I don't think I opened a door just now, so... It has to be just a regular um, hallway that I came from. Or maybe not, I don't know. Eh, whatever, I'll find it eventually. <laughs> I think you're gradually going, like, downward, though. So you don't want to go upstairs. Hmm. Let's see. Or maybe not. I don't know. No, I don't want to go there. I think this led to a Jinjo. Or the Jinjo. Uh, okay, here we go. Finally. No, shut up. Don't try to do that sneak attack crap. Alright, I think we go in the left one first. There's no preference or specific one, but... If you go in here and... There you go! A Jiggy. Is there a catch? Something gonna wake up and try to kill us? Nope. That's right. That's simple. And I think we have this other room to go into, and I think when we complete it... That'll be it for this world. So let's do a nice little almost U-turn. <laughs> wow. It's nice, we actually get to see what it's like when Banjo's holding Kazooie like that. It's unfortunate that you don't get to do that anywhere else. You only get to do it in these little first-person shooter kind of areas, but... Oh, well. Yeah, well, talking like that, that, of course, was building up to something. Target Zan. Deponic Totem Pole God. I am Target Zan, mighty Mayan God of Target Shooting. Prepare to meet thy dark red and doom. Oh, crap. Alright, so we have a boss battle. That's right. Spoiler alert, every level has a boss battle of some format. And as is boss tradition, once he starts uh, taking a couple of hits, he sends his cronies after us. Some boss you are. So we're going to utilize our first-person shooter skills here. Just got to shoot the little targets. And then gradually, yeah, he has these little mouths that'll shoot at us. And just got to watch out for those. And then each time he gives you more cronies, so this time we'll have two instead of one. Let's see. There we go. And then we move on and just keep doing that. Oh, ouch. Okay, those aren't darts that actually put us to sleep. They actually just hurt us, so. All right, takes care of that. Oh, it spawned like right in front of me. All right, so let's just take care of those. There should be three this time. We've also got a little counter there at the bottom that represents how much health the boss has left. 
should have one more round here. Oops. Just keep moving to the right like that. And shoot the targets each time. Oops. I think... Does it blow darts, like, towards you when he explodes like that? Or part of him explodes like that? It kind of looked like that, but I couldn't tell. Alright, and after we defeat these four cronies now, I think that should about do it for him. And... Yep, there we go. No! Okay, Darth Vader. Uh-oh. What are you, a Garrow Master? No! Don't do it, man! You have so... No. I would have said so much to live for, but... What's the life of a totem pole, eh? Alright, so for defeating the evil target Zan, ridding his totem pole days done, we get a Jiggy. And actually, I believe that should be it. I think we've pretty much got everything in this world now. We've got one more Jiggy. All the notes, all the honeycomb pieces, Jinjo's moves, and everything. And it only took 56 minutes, represented by... Is that TT from Diddy Kong Racing? Probably his son, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so that is everything in Maya Ham Temple, except for one Jiggy. I didn't actually show that area. There's one particular Jiggy we can't quite get yet. And it's actually not the Dilberta one. Um, I would off-screen this, but I want to make sure people know the heck how to get out of here. The thing to keep in mind is that you have these stairs, and it gradually goes down to the end of it, so you want to just gradually go up the stairs. And, uh, let's get the heck out Dude, I've, I've got almost all the Jiggies. I beat Target Zan. I mean, what what is to be gained? Even if you kill me, I mean, what? <laughs> what, are you going to feel good about it? going to go home and have a story, I guess. Oh god, that guy. He actually has quite a bit of those glow-in-the-dark idols in front of him, but I completely forgot about him. God, I'm just taking crappy damage. I hate when I do that. I'm in kind of a rushed... not a rush, but... Um, I guess I'm already done, so I guess I have the we're done kind of mentality in the back of my head, and I'm getting a little careless and not worrying about enemies or anything. So here we go, we're finally done. Finally made our way out of there. And then we just leave through another entrance. The lobby. Alright, so I'm going to find a warp pad here and show you the little area. Um, oh, did we get to... No. Yeah. yeah, we can't use Kazooie like that anywhere else. Or in any area that isn't like that. Come on, dude. You idiot. Stop doing that. I've run into these Meow guys like five times now. Alright, so we're done as of now for Mayahem Temple. I'm going to show something off in the prison compound. Just to give you an idea of what our objectives are for later. We've got a free Dilberta. We've got a rock in there we can't move yet, so let's remember Dilberta's location for later. And then if we go down here in this little underwater tunnel... Um, I'm going to show you the last area that is to be explored. And that is... We've got these little this sort of pillar area, but... Once again, we got a stupid rock we can't do anything about. It's unfortunate that Blob Bella and Grunny... It's unfortunate Grunny Sisters can't be around. They could have used the Boulder Blaster spell for all of these, but... But, you know, we don't want their help. We want to figure things out for ourselves, don't we? Alright, so that is going to do it for the time being for Mayahem Temple. We've got one more Jiggy to get. And we do need to um, remember... Not worry, not forget about Dilberta here. God, it's a good thing she's not near Slumber the Snake. He probably would have eaten her. So that's going to do it for Mayahem Temple. So we're going to utilize the warp pads here and just go to the world entry and exit. And every world will have one conveniently there. And we're going to exit. So that'll do it for Mayahem Temple, and that's going to do it for my recording session here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys and gals for the next area, and we'll move on to some new frontiers. Thank you for watching. See you later, alligators.